Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I got some drama going on with some SSDs. I love to use the Kingston drives. I haven't had much problems with them until just super recently. Uh, a lot of people say Kingston drives are really cheap, but man, for the price, you know, they're, they're the price is freaking awesome. I've probably deployed about 300 of these things, and I've only had a problem with a few of them, and hopefully that's not going to kick off and be bigger but check this out got the Kingston uh, drive up here on hard drive Sentinel and it's saying I got 46 percent health meanwhile on the manufacturers uh, program the Kingston technology SSD manager it says I'm just fine it says the wear is only at 99 percent which is pretty interesting okay so reallocated sectors um, perhaps five, that must door. be the bad sectors the that this unit's talking about over here. Okay, there are 35 bad sectors on the Here's disk surface. Uh, uh, the contents of these sectors so were moved a, uh, to a spare to area based on the number of remapping operations. The health of this disk was decreased in different steps. At this point, the warranty replacement on the desk, disk is not yet possible. Only if the health drops further, it is recommended to examine the log uh, of the disk regularly. All new problems found will be logged there. The trim feature of the SSD is supported and enabled for optimal performance. Now, the annoying part about this is I can't find out exactly how many s sectors are really bad in anything else but this. Uh, not seen any information here about how many bad sectors there are. It says everything's great, reallocated sector count, which is probably the way to say how many bad sectors. So 95% of it is good. And uh, once it gets down to 10, I guess then it'll tell me that it's no good. But seriously, I have had so much not work with uh, the Kingston SSD manager. I mean, I update firmware, and it, it is good for that, but honestly, I've never updated firmware, and all of a sudden it starts to run better. Not only that, but I ran check disk on it, and check disk tells me that there are no bad sectors. Maybe Microsoft isn't keeping up with this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I think it should be easier to get more information about an SSD and see if it's any good. I got crystal, crystal disk information here for the smart information. And once again, it's basically the same thing. It says everything's great. But the problem with this disk and what really ticks me off is uh, I had a user bring it in. And uh, the, the hard disk was clearly not good. There's something up with it. So I reinstalled and formatted it, reinstalled Windows on it. And shortly after that, the problem emerged again. So I'm not sure if I should use this again in, uh, in a computer. I shouldn't use it because I've already spent enough time, wasted time, with this system only to have the same errors happen to me again then I got another hard drive then no problems at all so it's almost a waste of time for me to uh, try to do anything with this but at the same time I feel like I don't have software to tell me if uh, a system is having a hard time so check out crystal disk info it says everything's good I got another hard drive over here now I wouldn't normally just throw these things out but the thing is I have a kangaroo uh, hard disk duplicator that I managed to use so that I could erase this hard drive and before I absolutely could not I tried the thing was hanging on me it just was not doing anything for me um, but anyways the other one is erased so let's have a look at it and see what the information comes up as all right, now here's another drive that's given me problems. This one right here. And it looks like it has a few bad sectors. There are five bad sectors on the disk. This one came within a laptop that wouldn't start up. I was getting a 0x00000E error, I believe. I couldn't start the drive up. When I put the drive in another system, I could get into it to a certain point. But then it said uh, the information was corrupted. So if I got five s bad sectors based off, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a, a bad boot or bad reboot, a bad restart, power surge, whatever. The system, I couldn't start it up. I couldn't get any information off of it. It took a very long time to get any information off of it at all. And that's really unfortunate. So here's the, the disk that I use all the time. It's been on for almost a year. I'm expected to get a thousand days out of it by uh, Hard Disk Sentinel's advice 
and the health is at 85% and I haven't had any problems at all with it. But this one that's at 92% I had so many problems with. I, I couldn't get the thing going again. I couldn't recover it. Which is really unfortunate. So that sector must have held a lot of information. Meanwhile it looks pretty good. On the Kingston SSD manager. I swear it's so hard to determine if you want to keep using your hard drive or not because as I've said the last hard drive that I had in here it didn't look so so bad actually I'm kind of surprised it said that this one's okay it the last one didn't look so so bad but once again when I reinstalled Windows totally on it I got the exact same error just as I was about to give the computer back to the individual sorry let me back up the individual gave me the computer to fix because it was having a certain horrible error and it looked like there was a hard drive problem so i reinstalled everything same error came up got a new hard drive reinstalled everything that error did not show up so this is kind of some uh, spooky it stuff here i really don't like it when stuff like this happens so this one is the third and final failed hard drive that i have so over here in crystal disk it says it's fine over here in Kingston Technology, uh, SSD Manager says it's not even there. And then over here on the hard disk Sentinel, it says, no, it's not so bad. The status of this solid state disk is perfect. Okay, and how come I can't format? <laughs> not responding. Yeah, that's great. I've been trying to format this partition here in the middle and I can't do a dang thing with it I put it in the kangaroo drive uh, cloner I tried to delete it and it did not happen so yeah I don't know what's going on here folks this is just messed up probably installed about a hundred of these things and I got three of them that have gone bad so 3% failure rate is that standard you decide Anyways, folks, that's it for me. Neff from Nev's Tech. But this is a crazy time I'm having here with these hard drives. I don't really know what to make of it. I was kind of hoping that they would all agree with each other. I could identify an issue and that all of these things could see the issue. But it doesn't seem to be happening that way.